Yo, 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 it's your boy Michelle Guapo, man. Street Certified News, and we back with another one. So today, man, it was a big ass story that dropped yesterday. We was one of the first uh, you know, outlets to report on the story. Um, it's been a lot of stuff going on with this guy, and it seems like I don't know if he's had enough, he's ready to quit. But today we're gonna talk about the boy Quando Rondo, who dropped the crypt flag uh in a kind of cryptic uh, Instagram story post in the Instagram post, he basically says he no longer neighborhood crib. He no longer, I think it was jump out. He no longer jump out gang. He no longer neighborhood. And we just going to break down, you know, exactly why he did it. Cause we think we know for people who don't know, man, uh, the dude Quando Rondo was the artist that was, uh, originally involved, uh, in the deadly shooting of, uh, Chicago rapper King Von. He was not the shooter. His friends was. Um, and it all kind of stemmed from something that happened between Quando Rondo and King Von. Um, in the months and <clears throat> subsequently years since that passing, because I believe what has been a year, almost it's been over a year now since the passing. Um, Quando Rondo, you know, he's never been very humble about the situation and he's never, uh, you know, showed, I think, the humility that he should have showed and, 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 you know, being sad for a person who passed. Um, all of this is, is, is been catching up to him. Like I said, in these past few months, this past year, he's not been able to do shows. He's not been able to, you know, make appearances or, or, or do these big festivals because people are afraid of what people are going to do to Quando Rondo. Um, he himself also has been a little bit afraid of what people are going to do to Quando Rondo. And as a result of that, he reached out to, you know, some unnamed, we're not going to name no names, but he reached out to some unnamed high ranking people within the organization that he was claiming. Um, these people have gone on to make statements and they basically said like, look, man, dude waited till, you know, the heat was on him before he reached out to us, man. You know, people not crash dummies, man. People not going to rock with you just because you in danger or you feel like you need their protection. You wasn't willing to reach out to people when you was, you know, at the top feeling like you was untouchable. But then now that people were starting to get touched, this ain't really the time to reach out. And, you know, people let him know that Um, just last week. Sadly, one of his uh, another one of his friends, Lil Pab, was killed. Uh, when Quando Rondo was the supposed target of a drive-by shooting while he was in Los Angeles, downtown Beverly Center, or a very uh, nice, uh, swanky area. Um, some dudes ran down on him when they was at the gas station. Uh, somebody dropped the low. He, they got the low. They slid on him. And as a result of that now, like I said yesterday, just yesterday, Quando Rondo has now dropped his Crip flag. He no longer neighborhood Crip. He no longer uh, what rolling sixties uh, jump out. He's bringing he's he's putting the flag down. Now it's funny because he said that oh I can't never stop banging or you know it, it never died, which is true and and that's why him putting the flag down to me personally is a little puzzling because you know of the people who do have your back still if there's any of them left chances are they was part of that group man that you just said you ain't rocking with no more. Now, let's get into the, you know, the title of the story. Man, it was some dudes out here extorting Quando Rondo, man. Let's keep it 100. You know what I'm saying? Quando Rondo made statements surprisingly close to his shooting and surprisingly close to him going out to L.A. Um, Quando Rondo made statements that, man, I don't got to check in. Um, And then once this happened, you, you, know, you know, now he's dropping the flag. So the issue, the rumor is that Quando Rondo, he was being extorted. He was being extorted by some very powerful guys, most likely uh, people related to the, the people that he reached out to following, you know, the shooting death of King Von. Um, these guys basically let him know, look, bro, we not your friend. We not your homie. We don't you know, we not vouching for you. But when you do come to our town, you got to check in and you got to pay that tab. Um, so these statements. The statements that Quando Rondo released right before going to Cali where he said, oh, I don't got to check in. Oh, you know, that ain't on me. I ain't checking in. Those were really subliminal statements to people who he had spoke to in private. Like I said, he was on his way to Cali. He knew he was going to Cali and he reached out to these guys and these guys said, hey, man, come on through. Just make sure you check in and pay your tab. 
And Quando Rondo's response was, well, I don't got to check in. I'll just hire security. Fast forward to what? Last week, they're at the Beverly Center. Quando Rondo and his friends are victims of a drive-by shooting. Sadly, um, one of his friends, Lil' Pab, died. R.P. Lil' Pab. And now, you, now Quando Rondo is faced with the next situation. I play gangster when I'm not. And now, you know, somebody who people consider a real gangster was dead. That's King Von. Secondly... Let me hurry up and try to backtrack and, 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 and cross all my T's and dot all my I's on this gangster shit. But you can't do that. You can't backtrack, man. You can't play Monday morning quarterback. Um, then, well, I'm going to just stay low key for a whole year. No shows, no appearances, no nothing. Now he's starting to come back outside. Uh, well, I ain't got to check in. You know, I don't got to check in. I'll just hire security. I was told he had security. Uh, during the drive-by shooting, there were security uh, people that he had hired. Though they were with him, I don't think it helped in that situation. But it just goes to show you that faced with you, you don't, you know, you got a lot of ops. The people who you claim should be on your side are not on your side. The people who probably gave those guys the the vouch, they want some bread. You believe that security can handle it all. And when you go to L.A., the first thing that happens is one of your best friends that you've known even before you was a rapper is shot and killed. Um, this whole situation with Quando Rondo, uh, when, you know, when the guy was telling me is very similar to the Pop Smoke situation. You know, Pop Smoke was claiming Wu. Wu is a faction of the Crips, even in, even in New York. So when he comes out to L.A., you talking about a famous Crip rapper that's not from L.A., which is the land of the Crips. When he does not check in with those crips, the young boys get the smelling around, get the sniffing around the wolves. They go to the big homies and say, well, look, man, uh, I see Pop Smoke. He in here, man. Well, what's good? Did he, did, did he check in? Did he holler at you? Is everything good? And when the big homies say, man, that boy ain't checked in with me, instantly the wolves now got a green light. So, Quando Rondo, man, this is the same situation I have with Quando Rondo. I don't got to check in, this, that, I'm cripping, whatever. But when you're not checking in with them people, you instantly become a target because who going to keep the wolves off your ass? You don't got the wolves with you, and you don't even got the wolves' permission to be in their land. So, what is the next step that Quando Rondo can do? And this leads me to, like I said, the name, the title of the, of the video, man. Quando Rondo was being extorted. Quando Rondo thought that he was a real street dude and he thought that he had street dudes around him. But once King Von passed and the full brunt of the streets start coming to him from all angles, he reached out. Nobody reached back, but they did send a ticket. Hey, bro, pay this ticket and we won't be on your ass. We'll be a motherfucker who you ain't got to even worry about as long as you pay the ticket. But when you don't pay the ticket, now you got to worry about everybody. So the only thing in that situation that Quando Rondo could have done, like I said, not a real gangster, don't got real gangsters around him. The only thing he could do in that situation is give up the flag. Hey, man, I ain't no gangster no more. I'm not no gangbanger no more. And them gangsters and gangbangers that was with me, they riding for the real people. They ain't riding for Quando Rondo when he know that. And that's why he said, hey, man, I can't ride for people that don't ride for me. Look, man, ain't trying to make this video too long, man. Like I said... I just wanted to let y'all know, man, um, you know, I got some information. I was talking to some people. The real reason why Quando Rondo uh, dropped his flag is because he was being extorted in order to keep the flag. And as long as he wasn't paying all types of different situations, shootings, people pulling up, it was going to keep happening. So the only way that he could not get extorted and not have to worry about violence, which he still could see violence. But in his brain, the only way that he could get out the situation was to drop his flag. I don't agree with the situation. I feel like in them type of situations, you a man, you adopted some shit, nigga. You supposed to stand on it. You supposed to slide and ride for your people. How, how does Lil Pab feel about this? You see what I'm saying? What Lil Pab up in heaven or wherever he at? I wonder how he feeling about damn. As soon as I get smoked, instead of sliding, the nigga just quit gang banging. Hey, it's your boy Rachel Guabo, man. Street certified news, the most reputable source of urban news, man. Y'all stay tuned. Hit that like and subscribe, man. We out.